Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to create a sublist. See, sublists are the list which are used for showing the information and they are used for adding it in a record. It is required in a record many times. We want to show some information and we want to add some inline editor also in it so that we can make changes in that list. So in this way we use here, let me show you. Here I have already written a sublist code. You can see here server widgets records. It's a simple form. I have taken server widget form, created a form, then created a sublist, sublist obj2. Now sublist object2, here we are taking the shipping method and their charges as the information sublist fields they are the fields and then we will add here the description value will be ups this is just for example ups is the shipping method and the value is amount 1000 now after that we will see params dot response dot right page dot form right now let me upload this code here new script Here I will select the JavaScript form. Here is sublist creation. Then save it. I will put the name here. I will deploy the script here. Here I am taking the event type is get request available without login. Okay, now save it. Now I'm going to click on this link. Now see here, here you can see a list with shipping methods and charges. Here I can use like, I can change it. And here also we can make changes in the charges. Like uh, I can make it uh, 2000. Then okay, you will see here the total because we have written here somewhere here we have written total field amount subtotal update to update to totaling field id where the amount so we are getting the total of the amount similarly we can write down here by like uh, by by year and then we will write here like 4000 Four, five, six, seven, seven, five, double, zero. Here you can see. Similarly, I have added here another sub tab. You can add some more information in it. Many times it is the requirement that we want to show some information in a record. So add a new sub list in that. So in this way, we insert the information, right? So this is how we create the sub list and we show the total. Also, we can show here total. So this is an important topic because many times it is required in a company that how uh, you have to show the information related to for example sales order or for example a customer so in this way we create sublist and we write down the code so guys practice this and uh, if you face any difficulty you can write down in the comment box i will resolve them and we will meet in our another video so till then watch my video and subscribe my channel thanks for watching thanks